Would you like to have a more magnetic, attractive personality? This is Philip Mountrose. My wife Jane and I, we help people step up, make a difference, really live the life they want through our books, audios, and trainings. And in this short three or four minute video, I want to give you some to-dos and not to-dos to develop a more attractive personality. Why develop a more pleasing, attractive, magnetic personality? Well, it's going to help yourself and others. You're going to live a fuller life by doing so. And you're going to do it in your own way, the right way for you. So adapt these tips accordingly. What not to do? The pleaser, the, the pleasing person, not the pleasing personality, but the pleaser person kind of calling like the, <laughs> those birds something unattractive. Well, the pleaser may try to fit in and worry. One, worry about what others think. Avoid that. Uh, two, a fear rejection and criticism. Very worried if anyone tells them no or looks the wrong way at them or says the wrong thing or so they perceive or they might imagine. Third, the pleaser. The pleaser person tries to avoid uh, making waves or rocking the boat. Uh, so worried about what others think, so uh, concerned about trying to fit in. Uh, doesn't really please himself or anyone and starts to harbor probably resentments and realizes she is not following uh, her heart in, in trying to always fit in and reluctantly going along with the group or the herd or whatever everyone else is doing following the status quo. So those are things not to do to, to develop uh, an attractive personality about worrying, uh, fearing uh, criticism, rejection, make, worrying about making waves. What do you do? First, you uh, serve others. You generously serve, genuinely serve, uh, with your talents, your gifts, uh, to help others. Second, you are interested in others. You listen to others. You ask questions. You're more uh, willing to be interested in others than try to be interesting yourself. Third, you smile. <laughs> smile, something, something really smiling, trying to get that genuine smile that helps you. That, and, and laugh, laugh. <laughs> Even if you're facing it, uh, think as I'm uh, laughing, uh, that gut laughter. It's tremendously uplifting. It boosts your hormones, your energy, the, the positive hormones, uh, and it diminishes the negative, the cortisol, the negative hormones. So smile and laugh frequently. And fourth, to have a more attractive personality, appear attractive. Is there any food in my teeth? I hope not. I, I, do I smell good? You may not be able to tell that in the video. T take care of your hygiene and your looks, the way you dress. Not so much to impress others, though it, it, you only get uh, uh, to make a first impression once and then it goes away, but uh, to be more harmonious uh, so people will listen to you, be, want to be around you, dress well, uh, have uh, eat well, rest well, exercise, do those things that have physical vibrance, uh, dress accordingly to the best that you can in your situation and your grooming, and that will also enhance your magnetic personality. So those are some things to do. Serve, uh, be interested in others, smile, laugh, and uh, really uh, have a good first impression on how you appear. So this is Philip Montrose wishing you the heart of your success.